Hey guys, Colton Fowle with Western Welding Academy. Today I'm gonna to show you all how to set up this torch hose. First things first, if you're getting a brand new bottle, you'll probably have an end cap on it right here. Or if not, sitting out in the field, what you wanna do is you wanna crack it just a little bit. What that does is it blows all the dirt out of it so it's not blowing into your regulator. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my regulator. I've already got my blowback arrestor on it and uh, hose hooked up. So this one is right-handed threads and on my acetylene, it's left-handed threads. And how you figure that out is on the nut of it, the left-handed threads, it'll have a dash nut. Just go ahead and throw this on there. So these are made out of brass. So we wanna be uh, a little mindful of that as we put them on, just snug. Doesn't have to be nothing too crazy. Once it's on, go ahead and turn the bottle on. We're gonna look at our overall PSI and then our hose PSI. My hose PSI, I'm gonna keep around 40. Uh, just depending on your wall thickness of whatever you're cutting. 40 is a good place to start. Once you get into inch, inch and a half, you're gonna have to turn up close to 100. But anywhere around 40 is pretty good, just baseline. So got that on, turn our settling on. So here at Western, we're very lucky that they uh, give us the opportunity to work with quick connects on our torches. Very nice to have, especially if you're out in the field. Pretty inexpensive when you stop and think about it. What this lets you do is let you change from torch to torch without spending too much time taking stuff apart. So just like an air hose, push it in, click it. Sometimes you get a little gunk in it, you gotta play with it just a little bit, but they click together pretty easy. So black to black, orange to orange. So when we go to lighter torch, find our striker here. We're gonna turn our, our settling first, which is our red hose. We're just gonna crack it, pour it away from our face. This is pure acetylene right now. So on our mixer down here, this is our oxygen. This is actually what mixes it for this cutting torch head. So this one can be wide open if you want it to be. Make sure you got plenty of gas flowing through there. And our mixing knob is right here. So we're gonna slowly open that up. And what we're looking at here are them blue little flames right there at the edge of our torch tip. We want a nice fine tip on those. If we have too much oxygen, there'll be a real light blue. Turn it up a little bit. There'll be a real light blue. Means we got a little bit too much. And if we don't have enough, it'll be real long and kind of fuzzy looking. Right there it tells me I don't quite have enough oxygen, so we're gonna turn it up just a little bit. Just squeeze the trigger. If they grow, it means we got uh, too much, but they didn't, they stayed right where they're at. Perfect, ready to preheat, ready to cut. Go ahead and shut it off. Always shut my oxygen off first, then I'll kill my acetylene. Uh, if you do it the other way, sometimes they'll pop. And eventually what that'll do is it'll mess up your mixing chamber or blow the torch tip out. So I always do my oxygen, then my acetylene. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and clean this torch tip. What I like to do is I like to unhook my acetylene so I actually don't turn it on. I'm gonna leave my oxygen turned on. So what we wanna do is we wanna fold this open and that'll push all the junk out of the end of this torch tip as we're cleaning it. So what I normally do is I'll throw it under a shoulder. What I like to do is I can start at the top and work all the way around and then I'm gonna hit my center. So as I'm cleaning this, I wanna find a needle that just barely fits in that hole. I'll make sure I don't kink my cleaner. If I kink it, it's pretty much trash. And you can use these torch tips for an extremely long time. So this one right here is a uh, zero. And if you clean it out, keep it nice, it might end up being a number one by the time you're ready to get a new one. But it'll keep cutting, just going around the horn. Now that right there, the outside holes are what uh, build your heat, but that center big hole is what actually pushes the oxygen out and what cuts the material. So that's where all you're getting all your PSI from right there. So I'll make sure that one's nice and clean too. So it's generally a bigger size. So we're gonna go back in here. That one looks pretty close. Check it out. Oh yeah, just about perfect. Blow all of our junk out. Take our little file here. You can do this first too, or you can do it last. Clean that tip up. There you go. I'm Colton File. Keep burning them.